Yes, I'd like to welcome you to the uh, Northumberland Fisheries Museum here in the town of Pictou. My name is Roy Parker and I'm the project biologist for the uh, lobster hatchery project that's taking place here. Uh, we're standing uh, beside the uh, lobster hatchery building. Uh, this is a joint effort a project of the uh, Northumberland Fisheries Museum and the Northumberland Fishermen's Association. So what we do here is we, we get uh, females that are carrying eggs, uh, female lobsters that are carrying eggs. And um, they carry those eggs through the winter and then when the water warms up in the spring in the, in the natural environment, they, those eggs hatch into small larvae. So what we do here is we try to control the process a bit. Uh, so we, uh, the fishermen provide us with uh, buried females. They're buried because they have these small eggs in the abdomen and we'll show you some pictures of that in a minute. And um, we, uh, they come in at ambient temperature, the seawater, which right now is around uh, 14 or 15 degrees Celsius. So here we, we push Mother Nature along a bit. We raise the temperature up over, over a period of a week and we hold those females in 20 degrees Celsius water. And uh, when we raise the temperature and those eggs finish development, they start to hatch. And they, they, they hatch into what we call a stage one lobster larvae. After about in, in uh, four or five days, depending again on temperature, but within a week, they, they molt, they lose their shell, they grow a new shell, and they, that's called a stage two. In stage two, they start to look a little bit more like a lobster, they've got a little bit more of a tail, they've got, they're starting to grow some appendages, and uh, they last in that stage um, for almost a week again, temperature dependent, but if the temperatures were raised, them, uh, it takes about a week, and then they molt again to stage three. And then after another week, um, we, they molt to stage four. And stage four starts to look like a lobster. It's got prominent claws that it holds out in front of it. Its swimmerettes are developed. Uh, it, has a, it has a nice broad tail. 